Yep, you saw that right! Hello, welcome to I'm Crooks, my name is Cabell, and welcome to Ape Escape! This is a game on the PS1, so if anything looks like it's something really outdated, you know why. <laughs> um, the thing is, this was not originally going to be what I was going to do next, but I found out my PS3 can't actually do this, so screw it! Let's just jump into this! station yet? Are we gonna get to go back in time? He said he'd be finished with it today. Let's go. I can't wait to check out the dinosaurs. And what about the future? Yeah, we'll keep talking because I'm going first. That's not fair. Hey, wait up. Better hurry up. I'll see you there. Hey, Professor. Spike, Jake, over here. Watch out. Spike, the time station. <laughs> no, no. Run, you two. actually works. We did it, Natalie. We did it. The time station is complete. We don't have time for celebrating. We've got to do something. Spike, can you hear me? You must listen carefully. Something awful has happened. There's been an accident. The time station has been activated by Spectre and you're being transported back in time. You'll soon arrive in the lost land when dinosaurs roam the Earth. Spectre has sent the apes back in time to try to change the course of history. His plans for world domination have begun. And if we don't stop the apes, history will be changed forever. You're our only chance. Two of my gadget inventions, the Stun Club and the Time Net, were also caught in the transport. I want you to use them to catch the apes and send them back here. The Stun Club can be used to defend yourself against attackers. And when you use it on the apes, they'll be stunned. And you'll have an extra second to catch them with the Time Net. There isn't time for any monkey business, Spike. Our fate is in your hands. We're depending on you. Be careful. All right, we have three monkeys to catch. Let's go! 
Alright, so here we are. Basically, the controls are simple ish. This is actually a unique game with a bit of a unique control style. Obviously, the left analog stick is to move around. And the face buttons that you see here, like triangle, will switch what gadgets you have. But, they won't do anything if you just press them afterwards. What you have to do is use the right analog stick to actually use them. Which is pretty cool in my opinion. It's weird, but I like how they have a different control control style for the right analog stick besides just using a camera. Anyway, it's kind of simple. The stun club here is just to pretty much just beat enemies and beat the ever-loving crap out of the monkeys. Yep, that's actually what it's used for. And the net is obviously to catch them. But I don't want to go through that just yet. We have these trees. I want to climb one. And on top, we have these... Well, this one has a chip, but over in the distance over there is a weird coin. I'm going to grab this first. These are chips. Collecting 100 will pretty much just give you an extra life. Small ones are worth one, big yeah. ones are worth five. This coin is worth yeah. zero. It is a completely different collectible. It is a Spectre coin. There are a number of them hidden through each level. Yeah. And there's a thing I need to just beat up. That's basically what you go through. But there are also these mailboxes. Let's see. Tilt the right blah. Tilt the right stick to swing the stun club in any direction. Beating the enemies by swinging and turning the stun club around, you can also make the monkeys fall down. Press the R1 button to jump. Swing the stun club with the right stick. Jump with the is it just repeating itself already? What the heck? Jump with the R1 button, good luck. Why do you have to say that twice? Okay. Ow! Ooh, cookie. Cookies are your health, so pretty much just makes you live longer. Switch the gadget switch the gadgets you're holding with the face button. Switch to the time net and catch the monkeys. The time net is swung by tilting or turning the right stick. You can swing the time net in a circle too. Alright, let's just get chips. And here we have the monkeys. Just hit them with a stun club to stun them. You can also make them fall down. Anytime you hit them, it doesn't guarantee, as I'm two for two. Ooh! Hello, what's this? It's a blue mailbox. You have to hit it in order to use it. The round cookies up to your left show your health. When you've tossed all your cookies, your mission ends. Then you have to get rid of the shirt on your back. Take that! Yes. You did great. Thank you. Alright, and here we have the time station. There are things I want to go over, but for the sake of future episodes, I'm only going to go over one thing real quick. Step onto this switch to save the game, and check out the monkey data. 
The other rooms are the training space and the mini game quarter. You should try them out. We'll go over those later. One of them way later. Anyway, let's jump here. And I want to show the monkey data, the monkey book. We have three out of question mark, question mark. I don't think I can count that high. Anyway, we were in the fossil fields. We have three monkeys and one not yet owned. Anyway, let's check them out. Nunan! A, a level 1 monkey. Crap speed, crap attack, crap alert. Has helmet hair problems, okay. Speed is basically how fast they run. Attack is how likely they are to attack and how for how much. And the alert is how easy it is to sneak up on them. High alert means that it's pretty difficult. Alright, let's go see you. Georgie! Level 1 monkey! Pretty much the same as the last guy. Wants to watch wrestling. Good luck without a TV, buddy. And Naughty! Level 1 monkey. Everything's the same. Dances to loud music. I like how there are these little descriptions for the monkeys as well. Anyway, that's basically all I really wanted to go over for this episode, so it's going to be kind of short. I apologize. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. The net is covering up my face. I'll see you guys next time.